Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, good evening. My name is Michael Phelps, and I come before you, before you today not just as a five-time retired Olympic swimmer, but also as an advocate for mental health awareness. The conversation around mental health, especially for athletes, is incomplete without addressing the integrity of sport and fair competition. Representing the United States on the world stage has been one of the greatest honors of my life. Through my 15-year career, I competed in over five Olympics and six world championships, winning a combined 65 gold medals for my team and my country. My journey in the pool has taught me the values of hard work, dedication, and above all, fairness. It helped me overcome challenges like ADHD and taught me resilience and focus. However, the constant suspicion on doping eroded the mental state that took a lifetime to build. While competing at the highest levels, I witnessed firsthand the pervasive uncertainty and the suspicion surrounding doping, which significantly affected my, con my confidence and that of my fellow athletes. The hardest part was seeing athletes achieve seemingly impossible feats, knowing the immense effort and sacrifices required to reach these heights cleanly. It was disheartening and demoralizing, causing pain and a profound sense of injustice. I know what it takes to, to achieve the seemingly impossible things the right way. I trained for five straight years without taking a single day off. I knew that that level of my competition, an extra 52 days of practice, would be necessary to make that difference. Such sacrifice brought me to the highest of highs, also the lowest of lows. But I did, I did, I did it in pursuit of standing on top of the podium, watching the stars and stripes, listening to my national anthem play. The last time I spoke at the committee in 2017, it was the first time that I had spoken out about doping and for, and for fairness in sport. I testified to the necessity of an athlete being able to believe in themselves, to compete at such a high level and know that belief in oneself is only made possible when they believe that the system is clean and fair. With all the sacrifices we make through lifetimes of preparation, perception of unfairness and, dis and disbelief in the systems meant to create a level playing field eroded away at the Olympic and Paralympic values and the very athletes who need the system to protect them. After my last testimony, I was truly optimistic that necessary and meaningful reform would be made towards a truly clean and fair international sports playing field. I was gratified that some reforms were put into place at the World Anti-Doping Agency, and they finally seemed to react to this committee's demand for better. But it is incredulous for me to find that myself here again today in, the, in front of the very same committee for the very same reason. In fact, if you read my testimony from 2017, every word would still ring true. Sitting here once again, it is clear to me that any attempts of reform at WADA have fallen short and there are still deeply rooted systemic problems that prove to be detrimental to the integrity of international sports and athletes' rights to fair competition time and time again. For the well-being of athletes, it is crucial that we take the necessary steps to address these issues. I urge Congress to use its considerable, its considerable leverage with WADA to make the, in, make, excuse me, make the organization independent and effective. It can't reasonably, it can't, sorry. It can't reasonably be a coincidence that USADA has yet again succumbed to the pressures of international sport. Um, close friends were potentially impacted by USADA's failure to follow its own rules in investigating the nearly two dozen positive tests on Chinese swimmers. Many of them will live with the what ifs for the rest of their lives. As athletes, our faith can no longer be blindly placed in the world of anti-doping agency, an organization that continues to prove that it is either incapable or unwilling to enforce its policies consistently around the world. I will conclude in this. I was once a kid with a dream. By continuously showing up and putting in the work, I was able to make my dream a reality. But I was only able to do that because I had faith that I was being, a given, I was being given a fair shot on the world stage. Swimming changed my life, and I have been working ever since retirement with my foundation to continue to expand the sport to continue to change the lives of future generations, to show them that they can, they can achieve any dream that they want to. I have moved on to the next chapter in my life. I'm now a husband and a father, but it is imperative that we keep the book open for those who wish to be next. If the international sports world continues to have its integrity impacted by failures at WADA, the next generation isn't going to be able to have the same belief that I once had in the system. 
So with this, I urge you, the members of Congress, to engage in the fight against doping. We can uphold the values and fairness and integrity that, we are, that are the cornerstone of Olympic and Paralympic sports. Let us work together to ensure that every athlete, regardless of where they are from, has the opportunity to, complete, to compete fairly and achieve their dreams. Thank you for your time and the attention on this critical issue. I'm confident with your support, we can make a difference.